Hey everyone, it's Robert. So a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy my Yoru Teleport lineup video on Ascent, and I wanted to make a second one, but this time I wanted to make it on Bind. Also, some quick notes before going into this. A lot of these teleports, you're going to have to defend with flashes or peek and do some shooting to defend it, because if an enemy sees it, they can shoot it and probably will. Um, but, you know, these are kind of high risk, high reward. If you can pull them off, you're definitely going to get a couple frags because of it. Just know that going into it. First, we're going to start with attack because Yoru is a duelist and he thrives on attacking. And then towards the end of the video, we're going to go over defensive lineups as well. So be sure to stick around to the very end so you can see how to play him on both sides of bind. So this first lineup is if you're coming from these staircases on attack side, the gate is going to be around here. You're going to walk up to the top of the staircase here, get right about in line with these bricks in the wall, this first like crack, aim at, at this garage door and at the bottom left where your health bar is this little line coming out on the graphic. Put it just between this rock and then the, this gray brick. Aim it and then throw it. And that should get you all the way into U-Haul without being exposed to any corners besides this one, maybe. So this one you can do for attack or you can do for defense. Maybe if you're rotating off of B long to through teleporter to A and they're playing a site and you're trying to retake it through bath. What I like to do is drop some footsteps. And this one's a little precise, but not too hard to hit. Uh, go to the bottom of the staircase here, line up with the bottom left corner of this window, throw it out, and then maybe actually commit bath, you know, throw some flashes out of bath, shoot some bullets, make some noise. And then as your teleporter is traveling, hit footsteps even, you know, you're still playing out of bath this whole time. Teleporter is gonna go through and get you all the way inside of U-Haul. So you're playing out of bath, making noise, and you TP U-Haul side, have your footsteps going, and they have no idea. You peek out of here, and you're right behind them. This is one of my favorite teleports on Bind that I found, and it seems to be really effective if applied correctly in-game. This next one is a little bit risky because you're exposed to a lot of angles, but let's say maybe there's one or two guys left. One's playing Heaven, one's playing Bath or something, and you know you're safe from this angle. You want to line up around here. Get just in line with this black box on this second newspaper, aim to the left. Get the right side of your crosshair just in line with the corner of this box. And throw it right about the middle. And that's gonna get you all the way into this pocket here. So you won't be exposed to anybody in heaven, you won't be exposed to anybody in bath. You're all the way like right in this this nook here. This next one is really easy. It's if you're attacking from bath. You want to just get in this door frame. This one's really easy to hit. Just aim anywhere along this left wall. Time to jump. And it's going to get you all the way under heaven. Definitely going to want to flash this teleporter out while it's going though. Yeah. TP. And you're in back sight. This next one is also really, really strong if you can pull it off. Uh, you want to get on this this gray brick here in bath line up right between these two faucets here aim on the exit of bath on this door frame throw it out Time to jump. and that's going to get you all the way to u-haul yeah. this next one is also really really strong so it's going to get you from here in bath without being exposed to anything this is about as far as you're going to get and it's going to get you all the way into their spawn side. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually go into their spawn. On Vine, there's a lot of, like, cliffs in the wall. Like, this cliff right here in the wall is what's stopping it from getting into heaven. There's lots of, like, boxes and stuff as well that stop the teleporter. So they're not that crazy. But, uh, they're, you know, they're still, like, really, really beneficial if you can get them out there. So this one, you're going to want to come up on this wall here. And then just kind of hug the wall. And then as you see this green box, the second you start to see green from this design on the, about like halfway down the box. You wanna throw it just at the corner of the box here. The second you see green, it's like right about here. Pretty easy to hit. Same at the corner, the edge of the box. It's gonna go down and get you all the way into here. So maybe if this guy holding you from heaven, throw your teleporter out like that. You flash him in, TP, so he doesn't hear it. So next I wanna go over attacking on B. Unfortunately on B attack, Hookah is kind of a dead zone regarding his teleporter. You can get like a basic teleporter off. I mean, it, no matter what, where you throw it in Hookah, it's always just going to end up like in this corner or along this wall, which is kind of dangerous to begin with anyways, because you're super exposed and you're, it's just not the best lineup. So I wouldn't worry too much about playing into Hookah with your teleporter, unless of course you want to get like right in this corner somewhere, but 
And with attacking B, it's also pretty linear. I mean, you really only have one spot to go and that's through garden. So the way I've done it is I have a lot of these lineups with this rock here. So you have this rock at the bottom, this small rock about halfway up, and then this big rock towards the end. We're gonna be working with the middle one. So the first one you wanna do is line up with this middle rock and then aim on the edge of this like wooden panel on the door frame and throw it out. Cutting through. And that's gonna take you all the way through sights. Ride the tube wall. And that's gonna get you into C2. Yeah. The same situation with B site as there is with A site. Uh, this clip in the wall here, along with this clip in the wall, stops your teleporter from getting into spawn directly. But still, getting into CT, uh, especially with your team pushing onto site through maybe hookah and garden, will definitely catch enemies by surprise and probably get you a kill or two. This next one is really similar to it, but instead of getting you into CT, it's going to get you into this. You're going to want to line up with the same rock in the middle, aim to the top right of this white box here above this flower, throw it out. And that's going to get you in this cubby. Now, this next one is a bit harder to hit, but also really, really effective if you can pull it off. Uh, you want to go to the same middle rock into the top left of the rock. There's going to be this little indent in the sand right here. You can kind of see it. You want to line up with that. Aim at this door frame here, the up and down portion of your cross here, the right side of it. You want to get in line with the brown portion of the door frame exiting garden. Again, this one's pretty precise. Line it up, throw it out. Time to jump. And that's going to get you inside of the tube on site. All right, now we can get started with defense. And like I said in the beginning of the video, the defense teleports are a lot more unexpected and go a lot further. I think a lot of you guys will like this one. Uh, so you want to just get as deep as you can to this corner. And for how far this one goes, it's pretty easy to hit. So you're going to go from this B corner on teleporter all the way to their spawn. So it's really, really far away, but I can show you how it travels to explain it. What you want to do is you want to aim on this black dot. So if you look here, you see like this break in the wall to the left. You see like this almost like a V of a dark spot. Aim just to the right of this V. Throw your teleporter out. That's going to go all the way down long. Again, just make sure you're flashing your way in to protect it. It's going to curve all the way around. Gonna keep going all the way in through their spawn. And you can pop it at any point, but it goes about here before it reaches its max, uh, max distance. There's also a similar one you can do, but this time it travels through market yeah. and you can pop it at any time. Maybe you're holding down B long and they're pushing A and you don't see anybody B and you can throw it out beforehand and you want to rotate quickly to market side. You go to the same spot, go to this deep corner and then to the right of these flowers, you'll see like these two bricks that have some missing paints around them. If you aim just above the center of those two bricks and you throw it out, it's going to go down long, up through sands into market. Remember, you can you can teleport to it at any time. It's going to keep going down into market, stop about there and you can see if and now you're right behind them on A side. So now let's start going over A site. This one's really, really easy to hit. It's gonna get you from here all the way into their spawn yeah. side, just past bath. Just get anywhere between this truck and triple boxes here, aim along this wall anywhere. It's gonna go through, another really easy one to hit. Sneak past them bath and get you into this deep corner here. Yeah. This next one is if you're playing from U-Haul, which is a really common spot. You want to line up against this wall and then the edge of this teleporter wall it's not that exact but just for like a frame of reference right when you see these posters just kind of get them out of sight barely aim at this box throw it out it's gonna go down and get you all the way into their spawn you can come watch me do these lineups and play Yodu live on my Twitch. I stream almost every single day there, twitch.tv slash Robert underscore. Consider subscribing. I'm going to be making a ton of Valorant content, including more Yodu lineups for all the Valorant maps. Check out some of the previous ones I've made already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.